This is uh, Thinker St. James for the Haddock Cultural Society. I'm here with Rap is a Joke, the internationally best-selling country-western recording duo. They join us live from the studio where they are currently putting the finishing touches on their latest uh, album offering entitled Y-M-C-A-M-B-R-S-T-L-N-E-I-C-P-N-A-S-D-A-Q-S-M-P-F. Um, they are Frank Slacks and L Honeypot. Gentlemen, uh, nice to have you with us. Thanks for being here. What's up, baby? First question here. Uh, I just want to talk about the industry a little bit. That industry, of course, being auto manufacturing. So where do you see auto manufacturing in the United States and overseas? Like, what do you think the future of that's going to be? Basically, I look at it like this, man. You got giraffes, you got, you got cantaloupes. You got all kind of other weird shit that you got out there, man. So you start looking at, like, like you know what I mean, like mechanic shit. That ain't nothing, man. That, that shit ain't shit, nigga. We got giraffes and fish, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Frank, do you have anything to add on that? Uh, I don't know. I think, honestly, that the um, the whole industry is homosexual. I don't think anyone should be driving anything. Got you, got you. I think I know where you're coming from on that. Okay, yeah. cool. So um, moving on from that, Frank, how many horses do you own? Just like a ballpark figure. Oh, well, I don't have any horses, but I have two sheep. Sheep. <laughs> yeah, two, two sheep, is that it? Two sheep, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, cool, cool. And, uh, L, do you, do you have any, uh, any, any livestock or any wildlife? Yeah, I got a fat bitch. She looked like me, but I'll fuck her. This is a question, actually, that uh, I got from a couple of our Twitter followers. It's, it's, it's kind of a common thing. You know, people know that, like, country western stars like yourselves quote-unquote, make it rain uh, in the club, you know, that's a pretty regular thing. Do you guys ever make it rain anywhere else, like perhaps like when you're at a subway or like when you're refinancing a subprime mortgage or like maybe at the circus? Like is there any other place that you guys like to make it rain? Yeah, I go to Little League games and pee on the kids. And, I mean, they seem to enjoy it. So I do that on my weekends, you know what I mean? L is, I mean, is, is there any, any specific place that you like to make? I mean, yeah, that's an interesting way to make it rain, actually, as well. I mean, is there any other uh, any other type of thing that you want to add to that? Yo, I just got to say, man, vote for Romney, man. I'm about to make it rain on him. Nice. And you heard that here first. That was a, a legitimate endorsement. Rap is a joke. Vote for, for Mitt Romney. Taking it in a little bit of a different direction. Guys, both of you, I want to get your opinions. How much tequila do each of you drink, or could you each of you drink? How much tequila? I make tequila. Like, do you literally make tequila? Like, do you, do you distill it yourself? I, I make tequila. In the backyard, see, what I do is I, I grow cactuses, right? And you take the cactuses, and then you take all your clothes off, and then you, you cut the cactuses down, and then you stomp on them, and it turns into juice. And then you pour that juice in a bottle, and you jack off into it, and then you got, you know, tequila. That's what I thought. That is a, a, a method that... I was not privy to that shit. I need to. I need to fire my fact checkers because that's something that I definitely YouTube, should. Have. YouTube tequila jerk off bucket, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah. Very good. That's happening right after this interview. Yeah, and 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 Steve the intern is fired because that's something I should have known about already. But um, so okay, so actually, so on that same tip though, then how much of that tequila do you think that I personally could drink? Do you like salt? Do you like salty things? Like, yeah. Sodium? Okay. Well, yeah. No, I'm I'm into salt. In 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 certain contexts, yeah. I mean, you know, I could have like a table a tablespoon, like just straight. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm good with that. I'd probably say you could only handle a shot. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'll I'll, I'll I'll leave that at that. Then. Um. Okay. So moving on from that, then. Um. This is. A <laughs> this is also another question from Twitter. Um. Have either of you ever seen a duck? Before and if you have seen a duck before in your life, could you please um, could you please describe that experience for the for the listeners? I saw a Frank's duck once. It was it was hard. A Franken duck? Yeah. What sure. what what is what does that consist of? Well, he's saying he saw me in a duck. Oh, was, oh, uh, fr oh, Frank in a duck. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about like a Franken duck, as in like a Frankenstein's monster duck. You mean Frank was actually in, in himself inside of a duck? No, he got out the shower and I saw his duck. Uh, oh, okay. Now that's totally different too. Okay, okay, yep. got you. Yeah, yeah he showers. He showers with Jack Bert and Ernie. You know, I mean, right. Oh, uh, you know, now it's all making sense. This is all all coming together. I saw his dick too. 
I think that that's probably something that that a lot of people wish that they're probably envious of you for that. That's probably a big thing for for the online online people. If you able to draw a picture of my dick just from memory, I mean, you got something going right for you. And that's what's up. And honestly, if you want to send us a, a copy of that, you know, go ahead and do that drawing. We can put it up for the... Hey, uh, hey, hey, hey. This shit is art, homie. I'll just be showing people like that. Hey, you know what? I, honestly, I'm I'm just saying whatever you want to give, we will take. And you take that however you want to take that. That's that's just... I'm going to put that out there. So who's giving and who's taking? You confuse me. Uh, what, no, yeah, we, we're, we're the takers. We're definitely the takers. That that that. That's a haddock. That's a haddock staple of being the. Uh, you know, we're, we're the catchers. We 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 take whatever you pitch. Whoa. So yeah. So I mean, I you know, I'm just putting that. That that's that's just something that's that's out in the air now. You let let, let that simmer a little bit. One thing that I did want to want to get you guys takes on. Um, the haddock is actually uh an, an English publication where it's it's kind of a staple in English culture. You know, we're just a huge kind of uh kind of institution in England. So I kind of wanted to know what your feelings on England. Are. And uh, and then also we want to kind of also know your opinions about Robert England, who was the guy who played Freddy Krueger. I think you should answer the, the England, and I'll answer the England. Oh, uh, England is very white, very white, very dry, mm-hmm. very um, cold, cold. And then I guess the country of England, you could say I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I love the country of England. It's just it's like it's like it's like America except they just talk different, and, and they put and they eat uh, you know they eat they eat pork and beans for breakfast, which is yeah. Yeah, which is amazing because I eat pork and beans for breakfast, so you know, it works out. I'm pretty sure they eat snails. And honestly, uh, just for the listeners, I agree with all of that 100. Uh, percent You know, having uh, slept with uh, Robert England. Uh, anyway, okay. So moving on from there. Um, oh yeah, okay. So this is this is actually about some of your some of your music. Um, I know that. Uh, yeah. Obviously, you're big in the. Yeah. See, that's the kind of ad living that makes you guys popular in the country music circuit. So I, I wanted to ask about that a little bit. Um, you have one song that's real popular. Um, it actually, if if I'm not mistaken, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it it was a number one hit in Finland. Um, it's called yeah. uh, "Dead Prostitute in My Trunk." It, 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 right. What, could could you just guys go into that? What is that song about, actually? It's about world peace and skateboarding. And uh, that one movie with Dolph Lundgren in it, when he was the Punisher, but not, no, no, not that one. Actually, it was one where he was fighting everybody. He, you know, what I'm talking about somebody got punched right in the ass. I've seen that one. And that's what that song's about. That's all. I mean, well, you know, fight. What's your take on it? But I, I just remember Dolph Lundgren and ass punching. Well, no, 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 you know, I, it, honestly, it's one of those kind of songs to me, and, like, this is just straight, you know, regardless of the interview, this is, like, a, from a, a fan's perspective, it's one of those songs that's got so many different levels to it that I really wanted to, like, that's why I asked, because, like, you know, you can take it a, a number of different ways. Like, the way that, that I, I was actually, I mean, just a little aside, I was listening to it with my girl at one point, and she was talking about how she thought it was, like, uh, kind of like, you know, Georgia O'Keeffe, that artist? Hey, who, yeah, yeah, go. by girls, do you mean guy? I, it, she looks like a woman to me. I don't know. I mean, do, unless you know something that I don't know, like, 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 quit. How are you going to derail me on this one? This is a heartfelt fan's perspective of one of your songs here. Sorry, go ahead. I'll answer. All right. So that was what I'm saying is, is that she, my, my girl, and yes, I mean girl, everybody, they, they, they try to fuck it up, but I mean girl. My girl said that girl. It, it, my girl said that it was like a Georgia O'Keeffe painting. He how, like that. No, no she, that's what she said. That's what she said. She said it's like a George O'Keefe painting and that it's like, you know, how some people see vaginas in that and some people see flowers and some people see other stuff and I don't see a penis on this person that I'm saying is my girl. So anyway, go go and, and say an answer or something. Well, basically, it, it, let me ask you, let me answer your question, the question. Sure. Is your mother a prostitute? Not anymore. Well then, then you would never understand the true answer to that question. Then, uh, very honestly, you know, then then I think that that actually kind of feeds into what I was saying about how it is kind of a multi-interpretational type of thing. So I respect that, though. That's that, you, you get you get a one love for that one, definitely. I'm with that. This is another one that uh, that this actually came off of the Facebook. Um, what are some of the pros and cons of eating cornbread? And this question is not just for all money. Yeah, man, I was about to say that was racist, man. But I'm going to just tell you the pros is that shit good as fuck. And the cons, that shit starchy. 
Yeah. And Frank, I mean, do you have any? I know, like I said, it's not the question wasn't just for L though. I mean, like if you have, I, I, I don't, I don't think that you do. But if you do have anything to add to that, I mean, you're more than welcome to. When does not have cornbread without corn syrup? Mm, wow, fucking food for thought on that one. You're hearing this shit live right now on Haddock News. Dude, that's 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 fucking depth right there. God damn, I got fucking Noam Chomsky on the line over here. All right, so okay, so then um, it, th- we're kind of wrapping it up over here. You know, I'm enjoying talking to you guys, but I, uh, I mean, you're honestly starting to bore me a little bit. So let me um, let me move it along just a little bit here. Um, so okay, one of the main things that we usually just like to ask people: best websites online, worst websites online. Go ahead, uh, best and worst of each of you. Uh, the best website online is rapidthejoke.com. I uh, yeah okay. Rapidthejoke.com. I mean rapidthejoke.com. Rapidthejoke.com is is rapidthejoke.com. And what's what's on like what kind of why is that good though? Because I mean like I've seen it, and I, there's there's rap and it's sort of a, a joke and there's both on there. But why is that? What makes that good though? I didn't understand it. Well, if you knew that rap is a joke dot com, mm-hmm. and you went to rap is a joke dot com, then mm-hmm. it would pretty be you know I'd have to say self explanatory as far as rap is a joke dot com. Yeah, it pretty be. I think the best one is rape is a joke dot com. Com. I think that I think that's what we want to promote. We want to promote okay. RavensJoke.com. But uh, can I ask gotcha. you what was the worst? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That that was the other part. Is what was the worst from from both? Hectic news for sure. Is like, is like hectic news. Hectic news. Hectic news. Even worse. No, you know, I actually went on a website. Was it yesterday? Was it hectic? See, yesterday. I went to hectic and then I went to hectic too, and it both sucked. They didn't even have a website. Though. I gotta say, yeah, coming soon after this dude blows me. Finally, the the one one last question that we have is: Have, have either of you ever smiled before? Well, uh, we I smile. We smile every day. Every I mean, whenever we're here, we're probably smiling. You make me smile. I appreciate that very much. That that actually I like touches my heart a little bit. No. Were we we weren't having a moment just there. Was that that I, I misinterpreted that? He was talking to me, but you could share that moment. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Then I mean, I'll just bow out of that one. But you know, I'm I'll, I'll take a little bit off of that, just a little bit. Sure. Cool. All right. Well, then, yo, there you go. Then that puts a that puts a bow on that one. All right, gentlemen. Thank you for speaking with the Haddock. Uh, I hope your album does terribly, and uh, you know, fuck you both. So that this has been really great. You girls, man. Yes, she's a man, bro. Dig it. Yes, I am. That's Thinker St. James, by the way. In your fucking mouth. No, Georgia Chief. She's a man. Mm-hmm.